Good morning, everybody. I think we're live. Can you hear me? Can you test the volume, Brian, for me? Thank you. Um, I think we're live. A few minutes. You're good. Okay, thank you. A few minutes uh, late, we were having some gimbal and <laughs> gimbal problems that Brian had to help me with. Can you turn that volume down, please? Thank you. I can't hear myself talk. <laughs> or I get really thrown off. All right, so let's see. You think this works? Um, just testing it. Okay. Let me show you where we're at. Here's the trail here. I just want to try this before I leave Brian, you guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think we're good. I don't know, it's gonna crash the second you leave me. <laughs> uh, I, was... I hope it doesn't. Let me flip you around to say hello. Hey everybody. All right, let's have our coffee. Yeah. And I wanna say, you can say hi to Genevieve Noel here. All right, hold on. Got one hand. <laughs> nope, don't do it. Okay. Hold on a second. Um. Oh no! See, look. It's not gonna work. It got tucked behind there. You're not holding it. Okay. We're gonna reset me up. <laughs> My hands are a mess today, guys. All right, <laughs> here we go. I think I think we're good. Welcome in. Thanks for being here, Genevieve. No crying. Here, we're gonna say hello to you too. Okay, so we're going on an adventure. Um, they're dropping me here, and we're walking to the other side. So good morning, and Genevieve's gonna be with Brian. Cheers. We've got our coffee. And, okay, let me, let me, uh, th take that for a sec. Can you close that? Okay, let me flip you around and say hi to Genevieve. Girly. So, see, I've got the slack. Okay. Genevieve, you say hello? Where are you? You got your Mickey? There's your Mickey. Yeah? You want to say hello? Hi. Oh, girly. Okay, so you guys are going to meet me, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's lots of doggies out there. All right. I'm going to, I'll leave you guys go. Hold on. All right, you guys chill out and have your coffee and when you get there and then you'll meet me it's okay girly we're starting our walk ready three two one boom okay girly you're gonna stay with brian i'll meet you over there um any chance you could throw this in my bag or no, I'll, I'll leave it out. It's okay. I'll put it in my pocket. Okay, here we go. So we're at Dutton Island Preserve.
There's some picnic tables over here. Hold on. The issue I'm having is um, right now is uh, <laughs> look at that hole. That um, because I'm in the vertical format, everything is different, and so that's that's the issue. <laughs> if that makes sense, um, it the phone and the phone and the phone battery they don't uh, they don't mix with vertical. But I know I need ver I knew I know I need the battery back on. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. It's so pretty here. Look at all the moss above me. morning. So uh, this is all new to me. Hey Raymond, good morning. We're in Atlantic Beach, Florida and we're at Dutton Island Preserve. And it's a beautiful morning. Beautiful morning here. Uh, I I, this is new to me. I've never done this. So, so basically, oh, I love these kind of trees. So basically, uh, we've been to, to Dutton Island on stream before with you guys, but I'm, I'm taking you from the entire start of Dutton to the pier, which is at the end. So last time we were on live stream... Here at Dutton was way back last year sometime, and in I want to say in the fall, like October ish, and um, the bugs. I'm still not I'm not getting bit at all, but the bugs attacked Brian and Genevieve majorly. <laughs> no, not Genevieve, but Genevieve was with him. <sighs> love these. They look like plastic. I love that. So. So they had to run to the car and Brian had to put bags, bug spray on and I was fine. I was not, I didn't get one bite and Brian had like a zillion bug bites. <laughs> so welcome to Dutton Island. So here's the car entrance. So we've got two parking lots. The weather is so, so uh, wonderful. Mid 60s and... I want to say going to be 80 today and then oh wow okay so now we come on the outside you'll see where the island is um u.s army sfc Roy everett memorial highway so so when we were here last that log it was, it was that long ago, and I started way out on the island itself, because you can park out there. But I wanted to take you guys to the island, and so now you could see, that's the gate, closes at night. So if you want, you could park way out here, which is what I showed you, or you can come into the island and park out all the way at the other side. So um, weather is going to be 90s this 
Uh, it's going to be getting in the 90s, I think, soon. We've got a high of around 89 or 90 tomorrow, so it's getting hot. It's, it's not going to cool down, I don't think, after this. This is it, baby. So this is a one-lane road in and off this little island. And so cars coming out of the island have to uh, yield to the oncoming traffic coming in. There's signs explaining. And um, so basically, that where we started was on the mainland. And then we're going to cross this little bridge coming up. And that'll be Dutton Island. And it's a tiny little island, but it's pretty big, if that makes sense. So, but my favorite, some of my favorite views are, oh, let's see, on the bridge itself. Because you can see both sides of the intercoastal. And um, then out at the pier. So that's why I wanted to do the walk this way. So you guys could see the actual little island in the intercoastal. Yeah, there's camping and um, there are campsites. We'll see them as we walk past here. And kayaks and you can do, you can do kayaking and oh wow, look at that. That's a cool tree. And way out in the distance, look at, uh, see if I can straighten myself, look at, way out there, that house. So, Jacksonville is on the other side. Mayport is on the Barrier Island side, and then beyond Dutton Island, that's mainland Jacksonville. Over here is the Intercoastal Bridge. To get off the, off the island. I want to say, yeah, they have campsites. Okay, yes, they do, and I want to say there's not that many, from what I recall. Like eight? That's my guess, or less. There's also um, bathrooms and picnic tables and stuff. Oh, wow. So, I'm wearing, um, I'm trying to uh, wear clothing this summer as much as possible that can protect myself from the sun. These are so pretty. So I have a long sleeve dry fit on and I'm going to see how, how long I can do that for this summer because each summer I live here in the Jacksonville area in Florida, I'm outside more and more. So I'm trying really hard to uh, protect my skin from the sun. So we'll see how that goes. But <laughs> it is, the point is, it is getting hot now. And it, wow, this is so pretty. Okay, so from right here, I want to zoom in and show you. Let's see if I can find the right spot. I don't know if the camera picks this up. Let's see. Way out there on the tree line, there is up here. There it is. There's one of the walkovers. So we're headed to over there. And that's Dutton Island. And it's all intercoastal marsh. So we're going to head over there. And on that side is a little pier. And that's where we're going to end the walk. So we'll see how long this takes, but that you can see where the marsh ends. This is Dutton Island. And this, let's see. Oh, 
all of that is all the island. And yes, there is fishing. There's definitely fishing. Wow, really pretty. So, so last time we did this, we, we started all the way out there. <laughs> but I think, I think the view on the way is just as important as the island itself. So that's why we're going on this walk. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> okay, I've seen these creatures here. They've got them all over the place. That's so funny. Look at this side. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, wow. You wouldn't, would you ever, you would never think there was like a city and a big town just beyond all this. Besides for the wires and the few houses. <laughs> it's really pretty. So this is a marsh. It goes up and down with the tide. Just beautiful. Oh, greetings from Switzerland. Thanks for being here. Gosh, I would love to go to Switzerland. How's the weather by you guys? So now you see where we're coming coming from. That's Mayport, Florida. And where we're headed. But these little, um, and Brian, there are bugs. So if you're in the chat, when you're going to want bug spray. They're not biting me, but they're all around me. So look at that. Wow. Sunny, but only five degrees Celsius. Okay. Wow. Jeez. That sounds cold. <laughs> that definitely sounds cold. I saw a little bunny, a, a little tiny little bunny in here when we just got here, right before we went live. There's a little bunny. I don't know how a bunny survives in here, but I saw some kind of cute little bunny. And this is the kind of place you definitely want to probably stay on the on the trails. <laughs> Used to the heat, so maybe we've got a hot summer coming ahead of us. <laughs> Now you can see some houses over there on the other end. Very hot. And I saw a few golden retrievers. So we've got some goldens out here today. No, we don't. <laughs> not that I'm aware of. <laughs> definitely, definitely not. some birds up ahead. Now, the thing that I would love to see here would be a snake or an alligator, but as I always say, that I wouldn't be so lucky. Um, <laughs> oh, look it. We've got on stream. I've only ever seen them not on stream. We've got little turtles on this bridge. They're delicious. <laughs> Little turtles. So, it's very easy to see a turtle out here and, and birds, but the snakes and gators are pretty much uh, camouflaged and hidden. Oh, a little fish. So I, I wouldn't, I probably won't be so lucky. I see them, but never, ever, ever on a live stream. 
But one day, one day maybe it will happen and I will be so happy because <laughs> I, could, I could show you guys it. Now, in the distance over there, that bridge, that is, let's see, the other, one of the other bridges off the Barrier Island. This is definitely a preserve that you want to bring bug spray with. Don't come here without it. Somehow, I never get bit and I don't know why. I guess it just depends, but uh, you don't want to be out here without it if, if they get you. There's, two, there's just millions of bugs. It's just beautiful. Wow. It started raining by you. Oh, wow. Hopefully not bad. So this is the little bridge over.
Oh no. There's a million of them. <laughs> I don't think the camera's picking it up. They get scared fast and they hide real quickly. Yeah, you know, there are there are definitely a lot of <laughs> a lot of big creatures here. I that's for sure. I can't imagine what it would be like to not have and be able to step off the trail without worry <laughs> that you might step on a snake or or something. I just love all this, uh, all the palm fronds and all of the different foliage. It's just beautiful. So now you can see that we went from the little ma mainland of the barrier island onto a little island in the in the in, in the intercoastal. Yeah, a wasp, I know. <laughs> and so that's what it looks like, transition. It, it goes with high tide and low tide. And if it's raining here, even at all, the area I'm taking you to is flooded and you can't park there. So it's dry and we checked it so we can get over there. But if it's raining, you won't even want to attempt to bring your car out a little further. So now we're going into the next area. And, wow, it's just really pretty. So that's where it says um, right there, yield to oncoming traffic to leave, to leave the island. And so now we're on Dutton Island. Park hours are 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pets are allowed. They must be on a leash and obviously clean up after your pet. So they've got pooper bags here. What's this? Got a little little overhanging chair entrance. Welcome to Dutton Island. The island is named for Mr. Walter Dutton, the last private owner who sold it to Atlantic Beach for use as a park. The original owner with a royal chain was Don Bartolome de Castro, who was born in Spain in 1760 and came to live in St. Augustine. He was awarded a 2,000-acre Spanish land grant in 1826 in return for 24 years' work there. Dutton Island was in the grant's northwest corner, which included much of today's Atlantic, Neptune, and Jacksonville beaches. Check the information in the pavilion to see if you are living in what was once this Spanish territory. Interesting. Wow. I think I hear a car coming behind us. 
Oh, and a little baby. And this is the wild Shetland sheepdog creature of the intercoastal region. Hello, my girly. Hi. Oh, I can't. Uh, you're doing so good. I can't bend the camera down with this thing plugged in. You pick her up so I can show. See, so she could say hi again. You say hello to. Oh, hello, everybody. Hold on. There you are. Hello, everybody. How you doing? So did you guys park over by the pier? Yeah. How is she? It's okay. Did you put bug spray on? I did, yeah. Okay. A little bit, but yeah. it still flies around. Okay. So the Shetland Sheepdog, she lives in the intercoastal. Look at all this variety of trees right here. We've got palm. Look at that beautiful, that one. Oh, you got the volume on. Wow. Kind of have some, uh, kind of lagging a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to. There we go. What's in that tree here? Shaking it. Now, okay, so Last time we were here on live stream, last year, we were already parked left out here on the island. So I've taken you guys on that walk. There's also another pier. If you want to see that live stream, I, and I'll come out here again, um, but we did go left in the past and there's a whole nother beautiful little overlook over there. And it is on my channel from I want to say about October-ish 2023 Dutton Island Preserve. So today we're going to go right so I could show you this entirely different side. And this is where the bathrooms are and um, the boating is, is to the left there. So you'll want to go that way and cars can drive all of this. So this is our little fork in the road where we're going a different way today. And I also, I, I do want to thank you for being with me today as I do something different because this is, I've not done this walk before. And I like taking you guys on new walks and exploring in these preserves. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it, it literally is. There's like no one here. There's nobody here. It's our own little our own little uh, tour going on here, right? Look at this tree right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. These trees. How far that one branch grows out and now. Wow. So there's a little bench over here. I want to see what this says. beautiful tree we're under right now the true oh let's let me show you guys what does it say the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit well that's cute i like that that nelson henderson very interesting Oh, this is the heritage tree. No wonder this one caught my eye. I knew it was special, huh? C City, okay, there's a bunch of uh, heritage trees in Atlantic Beach, and this is one of them. And I never knew this was one of them. I never knew there was one here. 
So they have wow a bunch of trees that around all of Atlantic Beach that they designate as heritage trees. Just some very old trees. And honestly, you can kind of go on a scavenger hunt to all the places they're at and see them all. So this is one of them at Dutton Island Preserve. That's it's a very beautiful tree, live oak. Look at how far its branches go here. Very pretty. So thanks for being here, everyone. Appreciate you going on this little adventure with me. And if you're just joining, we're at Dun uh, Dutton Island Preserve. So we do have bathrooms here, and um, which is good if you're camping. And then park hours, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., a little water fountain and then uh, a little pavilion here so we didn't see this on the last live stream here at all we're on the entire opposite side please handle park amenities with care yes and oh we have a grill huh and oh my gosh look shower <laughs> Get all muddy. The best days end with dirtiest feet. So we have a little pavilion here and a grill. Hi, girly. How you doing? Let's just say. Pavilion dedicated to former Mayor Lindman Lyman Fletcher, an appreciation for his hard work, commitment to the development of Dutton Island Preserve, and for his service to the city of Atlantic Beach as mayor, 1993 to 97. Oh, Genevieve, I hear you. Those are talking about the boundaries. Okay. Fire allowed only in grill located here due to dry conditions. Okay. So yeah, now we're now we're at the part where um, we're gonna go right here, but last time we were all the way out on this end. Okay, so we're going the opposite way. Got another little picnic table here. And then a grill. Charcoal, right? Mm -hmm. Charcoal. Bring your charcoal. Listen to that creature. Come on out and say hello. Oh, they were like, no thanks. So, no motorized vehicles on this little path here. I want to just take a peek. Let's see. Where? Where? You see a cat? Oh my gosh, look. Hi. It's a Dutton Island kitty. Hello. Genevieve, look at the kitty. There's more than one. Look at, there's two. Hi, little guys. You want to come say hello? It's okay to come say hello. I don't have any food for you, but you're welcome to say hello. Come here. Oh! 
Genevieve, I think you're scaring them. <laughs> pick pick her up and so they know she's like the one was like, I don't know who that creature is. Oh but little Miss Genevieve wouldn't harm you. A cute kitty Yeah, I know. What is these ki kitties doing here? Oh yeah, hunting alli alligators. No, alligators are gonna get them. Oh my gosh, where'd they go? They went in the. They went into the brush there. All right, I wanna. Th if you see them again, let me know. Watch for them. I'm gonna just peek right here, and see where this goes before we move along. I know, right? Yeah, there's no one living here. There's there's no residential, so they just must be wild kitties out here, or they got really lost. But I, I would definitely well, cat wasn't on the list <laughs> of things I would think I would see here. Look at this tree. Oh. They must be some wild kitties. They're cute. Do you see them, Brian? So this would be pretty wet if there was any rain going on here because it's wet right where I'm standing and we haven't had rain so this has got to be wet. Oh my god there's so many crabs. <laughs> I wish I could catch them before I scare off. Look at this. We've got another one. I haven't seen this one. This makes me want to visit the U.S. Yeah, there's so many pretty areas. So many different little, um, different kinds of ecosystems all around. Wow, look at, there's a little path. I'm not even going to take, that's the littler path off the little, a little path. That one, I don't think I'm going to take that one. <laughs> that one, oh. That one uh, looks <laughs> a little too little. Let's see what we got going on here. Wow, look at this view. Oh my. I have not been out to this one. I didn't even know this one was here. I, really, I didn't know what it w went to. Wow. So we must be at a lower tide. I don't know if we're on actual low tide, but... The tide looks very low. And that's mainland Jacksonville there. And behind me is Atlantic Beach. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> to make all path decisions with, with caution. You never know what could be in there. This is so pretty. Okay, and there's the... Um, Let's see, Atlantic. Bridge off the island. Wow. My goodness, this is beautiful. You know, and oh yeah, so of, I know I was talking about the creatures earlier, creatures of the intercoastal, of a snake, of an alligator, birds, and turtles, I think my favorite to watch is birds, just because I see the most of them. 
but I desperately want to see a gator and a snake, if that makes sense. I want to see them, but, you know, from, from a distance, they can stay far away. Thanks for being here, everybody. Um, and if you're just joining me, I'm Christine Piper, and you're watching Christine's Floridian Dreams. I go live in the Sunshine State multiple days a week and take you on all of my Floridian adventures. So if you're new here, welcome into a community of dreamers. And just love seeing all this natural beauty out in the world. Wow. And, and thank you also for going on this new walk with me today. It is hot. So... Make sure you bring water if you're doing a hike. Hi, girly. How you doing? How's the... what you're doing over here. Oh, yeah. We found a whole new overlook. Did you know this one was here? You probably know. Yeah. Did you know? Yeah. Did you see the kitties again? No. No? Oh, Genevieve. Well, well, we'll look for the kitties. Yeah, I didn't know this one was here, so I needed to find it. Okay, we're going to go head towards the little pier now. Look at these little things. No, oh, I have not been to Europe before. I desperately want to go. It's on my list. I can't even imagine all the things I want to see there. So hopefully someday... These little I think this walk is solidifying the fact that I don't have to worry about being cold anymore. <laughs> in 2024. <sighs> well, I guess uh I guess I was cold during Vlogmas, so maybe we'll have cold weather again in November and December, but this is this is a hot day and I think once this heat comes, it's not going to cool off, really. It seems seems like getting um getting hotter by the day here now. So we're definitely reaching the uh, that moment in time where we don't have to worry about um, hoodies and sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna go left now. Right is to the way where I take you. I took you before, so we're going left. I love. Sorry, guys. Look at this. I love this. Like touching it. It's really pretty. That kind of bark. And I think this is the way that Brian parked the car as well. I'm coming. I'm slow. <laughs> All right. This is where the cats ran in. Did you see them again? They're gone. <laughs> oh, well, they're in here somewhere. They're in this. What's that? Is there another kitty here? What was that? Are there more kitties? I heard whoever you were, you were talking to me. All right, so this is where the cats went, right in here. Wow. Hopefully they do okay in there. A cat versus a snake. I think the cat wins. 
<laughs> based on videos on the internet that I've seen only. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my guess. There's a lot of videos of snakes and the cat has the faster reaction time in all the videos I've seen. Look at this. Wow. Beautiful. What is that? Is that going to grow into one of those longer flowers that hang? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's really pretty. Interesting. It's all over this tree. I love seeing that kind of stuff. So in this direction, this is uh, this is the area now. If it's raining, it's hard to get to. So I don't know if we go lower um, here or what, but okay, here's a campsite. Campsite number five. Yeah, kittens can hunt anything by by you. They're on top of the food chain with dogs. <laughs> yeah, those cats, they got a lot of they got a lot of fight in them. <laughs> I wish we could see them again. Maybe maybe those two will find us over here. Alright, so this is what the campsite looks like. Uh-oh, let me get to this side here. <laughs> Public works. Hi. <laughs> okay, there's the campsite. Campsite number five, right here. So I guess about eight campsites. Maybe, maybe less. I I don't know, but not that many. And I don't know if I read it on that, um, on that um, bulletin board or, or sign that we saw earlier, but this land, this entire little island, it was destined to become a housing development. They were going to knock all this down and build houses. And it somehow got saved by... Oh, campsite number three. So I'm glad it's not because this is so pretty and I feel like there's not a lot of places, not a lot of preserved land. And I'm really glad this is here because it really shows you what the intercoastal, the nature of the intercoastal here. Campsite number three. So we know we have at least at least five little campsites. Oh wow. It's very calm. Yes. It's very peaceful. And Jacksonville is surrounding us. Unbelievable. Okay, so that was the campsite to my left, and then right here it says authorized vehicles only down that little path. And then this is the way we're heading to the little pier, and it says parking designate, park in designated spots only. And it's like a little roundabout and that's why uh, especially if you have like a if you don't have a all-wheel drive i wouldn't even bring your car, car down to this little area if there's any any rain whatsoever just back out right there and turn around where i was and park elsewhere and that's probably why maybe i couldn't take you over to this side last year so I'm glad we're doing this now on a on a drier 
a drier part of the um, season because once summer comes, we're going to get our daily downpours. <laughs> wow. I love that. Oh, we've got another little uh, a little pavilion here. No motorized vehicles. Little path. Let's see this little thing. Oh wait, that looks too overgrown to walk through. Let's see. No. Um, it looks like you can get to it over there. Campsite number one, and behind me is number two. Wow, now this is the campsite you want. Campsite number one, look at this. This one has the view, baby. <laughs> oh my. I can't imagine camping here. You got a garbage can and your own little grill here. Bring your charcoal and all this land. And if it's summer, this is gonna be so wet. Everything that I'm standing in right now would be very wet. But I'd say campsite number one, it's got, it's got the view. And it's so nice that there's this little um, picnic table and overhang here. Wow. Oh, look. Look, look. Where we just were, looking out that way. Do you see the sailboat, Brian? Morning. Oh, morning. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were my husband. <laughs> Well, your dog is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Very pretty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I literally felt like we were the only ones out here. Look at, there's the other campsite. So that's the difference. In campsites. This one has no view of the intercoastal and it's just like a skinny little area. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally nobody else around. There's not hardly any cars parked out here or anything. So <laughs> I just assumed that was Brian. Poor guy. He probably startled him. He startled me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh look, there's two more cars here. There are, <laughs> there are a few cars out here. It's just so quiet. And they weren't here earlier when we came in and tried, so try, drove through here. Lyman's Point. Okay, the, so this is what's all usually muddy underwater. In honor of Lyman Fletcher, the former mayor and commissioner of Atlantic Beach. And we've got bags for the dogs, little picnic tables, park hours again, 8 a.m. to, does that say 9? I don't know, I'll see it again.
a City of Atlantic Beach Projects Marsh Wetlands Improvement. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go. Please keep pick up after your pet. And we do have a handicap parking spot here that is paved. So it is, it's accessible here, right here. One spot, but it's here. So that's pretty cool. And because it's paved, You can go right out onto this little path. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, and so this ramp, so it, it is a ramp. That's pretty cool. And there's that other bridge in the background over the island. There's a way, a different way. Okay, let's keep going here. This is pretty cool. Don't go in that water. Oh. Funding for improvements to this facility was provided through a joint effort between Atlantic Beach and the Florida Inland Navigation Project, or district. Oh, wow. Look at So this is what's most frequently caught. Red drum, weak fish sand sea trout, black drum, flounder, spotted sea trout, and sheep shed. Wow, look at that one. This is pretty cool. So we've got an up and a down here. Let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, that's from Mayport. Look at, I think, that helicopter. Now 
No, I think I think he's in the car with Genevieve. So I think there's some fisher fishermen out here. Morning. How you doing? Very peaceful. Quiet. I don't want to disturb their fishing. Let's just go right to about here. And we started all the way back over there, way out there. Wow, let's see where this little path goes. I'm just curious. So pretty. Look at this photo. Nice image.
partially filled pond. This pond was originally dug when Walter Dutton owned the island to conduct, to conduct shrimp breeding experiments. He said the experiments developed shrimp 11 to 12 inches long. Recently, the government requested the city to refill the pond to its original condition. A wood stork has been seen perched in a tree on the shore watching the pond for signs of food. The wood stork is an endangered species which feed by walking in shallow water with its long bill open, ready to snap shut if something wiggles. It is hoped that wood storks will feed in the renovated pond and nest close by. Wow. I didn't know wood storks were endangered. We see them over, um, where at? In Jack's Beach, on the intercoastal here, but in Jack's Beach, I've seen them. I have a silly little short on my channel with the wood storks from November. I really like them. I did not know they were endangered. Let's see where this goes. Wow. I agree. I know. Oh, thank you for being here. I I learn a lot every time I stream. And it is fascinating that we can be on opposite sides of the planet. That always fascinates me. And I do try I do try to learn something on every stream. Wow, the little dew wet that palm is still wet. It must be it must have been in the shade. This is really pretty. I wonder where that, now I'm on something new again, but uh, I don't know where this goes, but we're just gonna take it around. Here's the little pond. So yeah, I can't believe wood starks are endangered. I think they're really cute. That's the little pond that they're talking about. Right there. Wow. I don't see any wood storks. But hopefully they come come here and know that it's for them. This moss. I know if I <laughs> if I venture any further, I think I'm gonna come back the way I came because this is getting a little too much uh, <laughs> off the path for me. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at. Hold on, I'm gonna unplug. I'm, I'm gonna fix this one second. Sorry. I'm resetting. Sorry about that. We should be good now. Um, did I already scare them away from this far? Okay, there's there's a million little crabs running right there. They must be really sensitive to sound because I was still pretty far away. All right, let's see. We're going to take this. Now this should come back out. I think this should come back out over by the cars. There's something in there. What you got in there? Is this a snake? <gasps> oh, okay. I think this, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Uh, I think this is the a campsite number. I think we just made a little loop. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, 
This is the other campsite. Oh, there's a little fire pit here. So if you want non-coastal views, this is the campsite because it's surrounded by all the trees. And then campsite number one, it's got the views. But this one, you've got this whole big circle to yourself, just surrounded by trees and woods. And I do believe you have to rent these sites, which is why they're tied off. Okay, so the, ca the campsite has a walkway onto the pier. That's pretty cool. Let's see which one this is. I think this is number two. I can't remember. And then across from us is where we were at campsite number one. Which one is this? Two. Okay. So this is campsite number two. Let's go back by, by this one. Wow, we need it. We made an awesome loop. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see how how long we uh how long this walk was from the exterior parking lot all the way out to the farthest point on the far right on the island here. Let's see what we got. All right, let's see what our, we're at the end here. We did, we did 1.12 miles, 171 calories, 339 total calories. Elevation, 11 foot max, two foot minimum. And the weather says 66 degrees with 90% humidity. Okay, so the 90% humidity feels like, it does not feel like 66 degrees. It feels like, I want to say 90 degrees. <laughs> so that was quite a nice walk. Let me flip you around um, to thank you. Thank you for joining me. This was so fun. I can't even believe it. Um, I've never done this walk, so thank you so much for being here with me. I'm Christine Piper. You're watching Christine's Floridian Dreams. And today, these are my dreams in beautiful Atlantic Beach, Florida, on Dutton Island Preserve, this beautiful little island. Uh, you definitely, even though it's small, you can get a lot of little exploring in here. I would highly recommend coming here if you're if you're in the Atlantic Beach, greater Jacksonville area and want to see something along the intercoastal. Um, most importantly, thank you for sharing in this natural little hike with me. Let me flip you back around. And I want to see if we can, before I say goodbye, just to see if we see any more, more boats or anything. Oh yeah, okay, that's what I was hearing. Okay, there's one right, right there. I think yeah that's a boat it's loud thank you big archery um i great i'd love to have you in future live streams i will be live again this week weekend on another adventure that boat was moving i like seeing the sailboats i don't see any though let's see no 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 i really like seeing the sailboats um, but thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe. Um, my name is Christine Piper, and this is Cl Christine's Floridian Dreams. I take you live in my uh, adventures in the Sunshine State and beyond uh, multiple days a week. And uh, definitely hit the notification bell if you want to know when I go live. And I appreciate everyone chatting with me today. And I think we learned a few little things about the about this natural ecosystem here on the intercoastal and this beautiful marsh. I love looking out
at the marsh just like that, these views. It's just very, very beautiful. The wind feels good. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. It's, I will see you again. Just the wind feels good. The breeze, just seeing all the nature. And of course I was, I was of course hoping for a snake or a gator sighting from afar, but it's okay that that didn't happen. <laughs> um, someday we will catch it on a live stream. I have to be in the right place at the, exactly the right time. And we didn't see any turtles today either, but that's okay. Because there's always some natural beauty to look at, whichever creatures are around. I think we got an extra bonus. Even though we didn't see gators, turtles, just a few, few birds, and um, yeah, no gators, no snakes, but guess what? Yes, and that was my dog earlier. <laughs> Yeah, that was my dog. Sorry. Uh, that was my Genevieve Noel. So we saw the wild Shetland sheepdog of the intercoastal, Miss Genevieve Noel. And we saw two cats that I hope will survive in this wilderness that they ran off into. Yes, we saw two kittens, right? <laughs> and that's all that matters. We, we saw something and, and I think they wanted to say hello to us. I really do. And then, then they went off in that world, deep wilderness. So they must know what they're doing here. Way more than me. <laughs> so thank you everyone for being here. I will see you in the next live stream this weekend. And I really appreciate you chatting with me today. So thank you. And I love you all so much. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.